passion and anger tend to be inversely proportional to knowledge and understanding. And the people that have the strongest opinions tend to know the least. And when you see opinions of people posting, make sure they're testing and doing tests that you can replicate, like I'm doing here. All right, let's check out whether AES 50 works better with Cat 5E or Cat 6A. Now, this Cat 5E is the Clark Technic shielded Cat 5E that is recommended by Behringer. It's a Behringer product for the Behringer console. It's 50 meters long. This is 60 meters of Cat 6A Super Cat XM sound tools cable that I designed specifically to do extra long runs and be more robust and dependable. For AES 50, Dante, Milan, and pretty much any application because of its ultra low loss, low capacitance. The question is, does it work better? There's these message boards on Facebook and Reddit that are talking about whether or not Cat5e or Cat6a is better and Cat6a is wrong and there's a lot of chatter going on and arguments, but not a lot of testing. So let's go ahead and do a simple test. Behringer, in the newest software for the Wing, has released an error account for AES-50. You plug it in, it tells you how many errors are occurring over the line. I've got an X32 here, a Wing here. We can plug this in and we can see if we have a problem. All right, so let's go ahead and do it. Now, both these cables are brand new. This one here I bought specifically for testing, and these I just pulled from inventory. First, let's check the Clark Technic cable. Behringer cable connecting Behringer consoles. 50 meters of Cat5e. AES 50, we should see it light up there. A, 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 and it's looking for it. There, we've got it, it's linked. We've got 85 and 51 in the error region there for port A. Let's go ahead and clear that, because that's just from it being connected. And let's see what we have. We have pretty much, it looks like it's stable, at least in this situation. So let's make it longer. Here's another 50 meter reel of the same cable and we will extend it out. Plug that in here and we've got a bunch of errors. Let's go ahead and clear them. And we've got constantly Firing errors, 843, 37, it just, it's an error party. 100 meters of Clark Technic Contric Etherflex data cable, Cat5e, uh, is showing the error. Let's try the SuperCat sound. Doesn't like 100 meters. Now, this is a 60 meter reel of Cat6a, so it's 20% longer. See if we can get that over here. We need to free this up. This is stranded Cat 6A designed for portable pro audio. Plug that in, we'll hit clear and lose the errors. And we'll see where we are now. And we're clean as expected at 60 meters. That's not a very challenging scenario. So let's make it 120 meters. Now 100 meters of Cat 5E was fail city. Let's see what 120 meters of Cat 6A will do. Clear the errors. Clean as can be. Not a single error showing up. Well, all right. Which would you rather do a show with? Error city at 100 meters or completely clean at 120? All right, well, I know some of you are thinking, oh my gosh, this stuff is coiled. Coiled is messing it up. But these are coiled and this is coiled, but this is coiled smaller. So maybe it's not a fair comparison. Now with twisted pairs, coils don't make a difference. It cancels out. But just because we need to test everything, let's uncoil it. I don't need to uncoil this, it works. And if coiling is better, 
then this is coiled more, it should work better. So we know that's not true. If coiling is worse, this one uncoiled, maybe it'll fix it. Let's try it. Uncoiled, but a mess. Clear. And Error City. Now let's try one more thing, really interesting. And let's put one of the Cat5e cables. Two of them we know fail. Let's take one of those and use a Cat6a extension and go to 110 meters and see what happens. Clear. Locked. It fixed our errors. 50 meters of Cat5e works. 100 meters is too much. It's just not good enough to run that far. But the Cat6a, 60 meters with 50 meters of the Cat5e is still stable. 110 meters. You don't even need all Cat6A XM. Some of it is enough to fix it and get you pure, clean signal at 110 meters. This will actually get you up over 120 meters. All right, fun. Still no errors. All right, so if you find this interesting, I've done some other videos on this, looking into the Behringer specification and the reason why some cables perform better than others. The insertion loss specification wants to be below 25 dB at 100 megahertz. This cable here is down in the 18, 19 dB range, which is very low. A lot of places don't publish the spec. Because this is such a low insertion loss, you can go 20, 30, or more percent longer than 100 meters and still be within that spec. And that's why we're not seeing those errors. Awesome.